everything that's happened over the last month. And this week, it's all about throwing it back to the Hooters Pro Cup days. We'll be joined by five-time Pro Cup champion Clay Rogers and Performance Racing Network's Doug Rice. We'll stop by to talk about covering the series back in the day. Cars Tour Weekly presented by RNS Race Cars is next. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Cars Tour Weekly presented by RNS Race Cars. I'm Jess Ballard, and we're glad to have JD Boucher here again with us this week. Thank you for having me. It's been way too long. It has been way too long. Yeah. Um, but I'm ready to get back at it. But before we get started, I wanted to thank RNS Race Cars for stepping up to sponsor Cars Tour Weekly this week. If you're looking for a late model stock chassis or additional services, including body hanging, building and selling parts, and turnkey purchases, look no further than RNS Race Cars. Here's an inside look at RNS Race Cars at Martinsville last September. When we come back, we'll get you caught up on everything you've missed. Cars Tour Weekly presented by RNS Race Cars will be right back. HMS Motorsport is the leader in motorsport safety, providing the most advanced driver safety products to NASCAR, IndyCar, Sprint Cars, and Sports Cars drivers. From grassroots to professional racers, HMS Motorsport has over 25 years experience outfitting drivers with the best gear on the market. Equipped with first-hand product knowledge, our experts are ready to help you select the best harness belt, seats, head restraints, helmets, and racing attire for your type of racing. HMS is even the exclusive importer for Schrode belts, shoe Hubert Helmets, and Valero Base Layers. Visit one of our stores in Mooresville, North Carolina, or Danvers, Massachusetts. Or check us online at hmsmotorsport.com, where you can learn the details of our products and order online. Safety starts here. Five Star Bodies, the most advanced bodies on the market. Aerodynamically engineered, manufactured from the highest grade and lightest weight materials. Tested tough for optimum performance. The highest quality and most durable products you'll find anywhere. Our products help racers around the world reach victory lane. Winning never looked so good. Faster, lighter, stronger, better. Five star. Sparks will fly and smoke will roll at Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway as America's favorite short track roars back to life. Saturday, July 29th with the return of high speed, non-wing open wheel sprint cars for the first time in almost 20 years. The Pro Door Manufacturing 40 joining the 500 Sprint Car Tour will be the Jake Seary All-Stars Tour presented by Chevrolet Performance. Plus, all six local quarter mile divisions. Get your tickets for the return of high octane racing action at Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway Racing. What creates a winning combination? Quality, focus, discipline, and most importantly, speed. At Pepper Jack Kennels, we provide exceptional water and land training services for hardworking retrievers. From leading in the field to leading on the track, together we establish winning dogs and a winning team. Devoted to retrievers and motorsports, we are Pepper Jack Kennels. Visit us online to learn more.
Welcome back to Cars Tour Weekly presented by RNS Race Cars. And since we've been gone, there have been three races, and we'll get you caught up on those now. First up, the Cars Tour Pro Late Models were in action at Caraway Speedway. Connor Zilich out front to start out before Caden Quapel in the 96 car moves to take the lead. Things from there would go downhill for Zilich, spinning in turn one after contact from behind by Cole Butcher. Quapel dominates from there to hold off points leader Katie Hedinger for the win. Then it was the late model stock's turn. Pole sitter Chase Burrow jumping out to the lead over fellow number eight driver Carson Quapel. Early caution here when Dylan Ward spins off the front bumper of Bobby McCarty in turn one. Following the restart, Quapel would get the better of Burrow, but his time out front wouldn't last long as he would be passed by the KHI entry of Lane Riggs. Important pass here with 22 laps to go as Jared Fryer passes Quapel for second. Important because Riggs would be disqualified in post-race inspection, handing the win to Fryer. And finally, two weeks ago, the Pro Late Models in action on the tight Wake County quarter mile. Carson Quapel and Austin McDonald able to move by Gio Ruggiero at the start. Ashton Higgins tries to make the same move, but he and Ruggiero make contact and cause this mix up in turn one. Ruggiero fights back though and challenges Quapel on the final lap, but they get together in turn three and take each other out, allowing Logan Jones to slip by for the win. Yeah, there was a lot of excitement just in those three races. I mean, especially with the situation with Lane Riggs being disqualified. I've seen a lot of that in a lot of late model series this year. So I feel like that was really kind of the issue that was really talked about the most over the past few weeks. But that weight race at Wake County was awesome. It was awesome. And yeah, that disqualification, um, I think it was such a hot topic because, of course, being a Kevin Harvick, Kevin Harvick, is it Enterprises? Inc. KHI car. And he being one of... Um, the new members of the new leadership group. Yeah. Obviously, that was, you know, a topic to be talked about. Well, when we come back, we are going to kick it old school style and talk to Clay Rogers. More Car Store Weekly presented by RNS Race Cars. When we come back. HMS Motorsport is the leader in motorsport safety, providing the most advanced driver safety products to NASCAR, IndyCar, sprint cars, and sports cars drivers. From grassroots to professional racers, HMS Motorsport has over 25 years experience outfitting drivers with the best gear on the market. Equipped with first-hand product knowledge, our experts are ready to help you select the best harness belts, seats, head restraints, helmets, and racing attire for your type of racing. HMS is even the exclusive importer for Schrode belts, Schubert helmets, and Valero base layers. Visit one of our stores in Mooresville, North Carolina, or Danvers, Massachusetts. Or check us online at hmsmotorsport.com where you can learn the details of our products and order online. Safety starts here. Five Star Bodies, the most advanced bodies on the market. Aerodynamically engineered, manufactured from the highest grade and lightest weight materials. Tested tough for optimum performance. The highest quality and most durable products you'll find anywhere. Our products help racers around the world reach victory lane. Winning never looked so good. Faster, lighter, stronger, better. Five star. One of racing's crown jewels, the 50th annual Oxford 250 returns to Oxford Plain Speedway with three big days of racing, August 25th through the 27th. See North America's best short trackers battle for a chance at $50,000 on Sunday, August 27th. Plus, racing for the ACT late models, New England Super Modifieds, and more. It's the 50th annual Oxford 250, August 25th through the 27th. And you can see it all on Racing America. What creates a winning combination? Quality, focus, discipline, and most importantly, speed. At Pepper Jack Kennels, we provide exceptional water and land training services for hardworking retrievers. From leading in the field to leading on the track, together we establish winning dogs and a winning team. Devoted to retrievers and motorsports, we are Pepper Jack Kennels. Visit us online to learn more. Welcome back to Cars Tour Weekly presented by RNS Race Cars. We are now joined by Clay Rogers. And Clay, we were talking off air before you joined us, JD and I. And she was like, 
when I think of Hooters, Hooters Pro, Pro Cup, I think of Clay Rogers. Yeah. Like, that's the name that comes to mind. So it was only, it, it just fit to have you on our, our throwback show this week. So thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. Looking forward to it. So, J.D., she's got all her notes yep. handwritten out. I'm going to let... Yep. You go through the list oh, of Clay's accomplishments here. Okay. So well, let's set the scene. <laughs> first of all, you are a five-time Pro Cup champion, and you won the 2006 Snowball Derby. Those are huge feats by themselves. <laughs> I yeah, mean, 2006 was a good year. <laughs> it was a good year, yeah. I liked it. Um, So you've got five Pro Cup championships. Is there particularly one championship, one win? What sticks out as your favorite memory of the series? Uh, the championship, probably the most uh, rewarding one was probably 2006 because uh, the competition level in 2006 was just ungodly. I mean, you had junior motorsports, you had Shane Huffman and his guys. You had, I mean, you had so many really, really strong teams, Bobby Gill. Uh, was you know in the middle of his outstanding career at that point as well and Benny Gordon and uh, just I mean there were 15 cars that could win every week uh, that in you know 04, 05, 06 all three of those years really um, was was just I don't know where you'd find any tougher competition anywhere at the time um, and uh, those are the days that we missed the most and then probably the win wise uh, winning at Bristol in 2005, uh, that was a tough year for us. We had a lot of, uh, uh, engine failures and, and, uh, rocker arm failures and whatnot. So we didn't get a chance to race for the championship that year, but, uh, getting that big win at Bristol was, was something I'll never forget and getting to drive up on the top of that building and do a burnout in front of 50 something thousand people that were there. Uh, that was, that was definitely a, a memorable moment for sure. Well. Wow. Let's circle back. We got to talk about Bobby Gill. And for the younger folks watching at home that maybe didn't watch the Hooters Pro Cup series, you guys had a little bit of a rivalry going on. Tell us about that and and what your memories are from that. Well, all my memories of Bobby Gill are just how, uh, how many years we chased him um, <laughs> and how much you race craft you learn just from being able to follow Bobby and, and, and race with him. Um, you know, he and I actually got along really well. Once I've always said about Bobby, he's a hard person to know. Um, but once you get to know him and, and, and get that, that eggshell cracked open a little bit, it, uh, he helped me a ton. Um, of course, Bill Boger that, uh, that ran the terminal truck and race team when Bobby drove for them and, Helped Bobby a lot when he started in the Hooters Pro Cup series. Um, he ended up helping me as well. So Bill kind of ended up bridging the gap there a lot and uh, and helping me get to know Bobby. And and um, but I remember Bill telling me one time we were racing it. It was called Peach State Speedway then, which is now Gresham, which is now gone, I guess. Um, he said, I don't care if Bobby stops, turns out the back gate and goes down to McDonald's to the drive through. You better be right behind him. So <laughs> that was uh those those types of races were where where you learned a lot uh, you know the word they, everybody uses today is racecraft and if uh if you were following Bobby Gill and you weren't learning something you weren't paying attention <laughs> well it's clearly obvious that you had a great time running the pro cup series i mean obviously you're five time champion you haven't been racing so much lately. I think the last race you ran was actually the Grand National Super Series at Tri-County, and then you won at Caraway before that with the Grand National Super Series. You're not racing now. What's been occupying your weekends? And if somebody gave you the right opportunity, would you want to come back? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I still have some interest in racing. Uh, we, we could put a couple feelers out there, actually, to run, run this race, but uh, it was a little too late, and... Uh, need need a little more time to come up with the funds you know, can't, to uh, to do that. But uh, yeah, it's it's you know there's there's some in the cars tour these days. There's so much great competition, uh, and there's so many great teams out there. Um, but they all get filled up pretty quick uh, for these these big races uh, coming up, and everybody wants to be a part of the throwback racing. Well, yeah, 
maybe if it was in September when it wasn't 95 degrees out, I'd, I'd have maybe put forth a little more effort to, uh, to, to get that done. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's the hardest thing for me today is, is once you haven't been in a car, uh, on a consistent basis, getting those, uh, getting re acclimated to the heat. Uh, I think you see that watching these SRX races, um, all those guys not racing all the time and they get back in there. I mean, it, it can be miserable pretty quick. So, um, for sure, for looking sure, forward to that part. <laughs> for sure. And, uh, our friends at Pepper Jack Kennels, we got to know who just popped into the screen here. We have another guest. Who's your friend? <laughs> That was, there's actually two of them. Uh, Bailey is uh, Butch Ender's uh, dog. Uh, she's a German shepherd, a little, about a year and a half old. And then actually uh, my wife and daughter are at the beach right now. So I brought my dog Zoe with me to work today. And they they uh, they decided to come in here and make an appearance. Now Zoe's just <laughs> laying on the floor. She's, she's about eight years old. So she's not near as spunky as Bailey. <laughs> oh, well, Bailey, Zoe, and Clay, Thank you for joining us today. It was great catching up and hearing about your experiences in the Hooters Pro Cup as we head into throwback weekend. Yeah, we're super excited about it, ready to get this weekend going. I'll be there, ready to see a lot of old friends, and um, we'll be there with Ari Suspension as well. But, but uh, man, I can't wait to see the show that they're going to put on. I know it's going to be great. For sure. Well, coming up next, we will continue our throwback special when we are joined in studio by the Performance Racing Network's own Doug Rice. Cars for Weekly presented by RNS Race Cars. We'll be back right after this. The American Canadian Tour Late Models tackle White Mountain Motorsports Park Saturday, August 5th for the Milton Cat Midsummer Classic 250. The best short trackers from the United States and Canada battle White Mountain's toughest quarter mile for $10,000 to win. Plus racing in local divisions. It's the Milton Cat Midsummer Classic 250 at White Mountain Saturday, August 5th. And you can see it only on Racing America. SRI Performance and Stock Car Steel are your all-inclusive motorsports warehouses with more than 450 product lines. They have everything to put you in victory lane, from professional racing to street performance. SRI and Stock Car Steel have you covered with leading brands, as well as a large selection of steel, aluminum, and plastics. With locations in North Carolina and Indiana, access has never been easier. SRI has the world's largest inventory of used parts. SRI Performance in Stock Car Steel and Aluminum, your one-stop shops for everything racing. Hey, I'm Dylan Hart Jr. You're watching Race in America. Welcome back to Cars Tour Weekly presented by RNS Race Cars. And we are so excited to be joined by PRN's Doug Rice. And thank you for joining us in the studio. This is so much fun. Thanks tell, for having me. Yeah. Um, and tell us a little bit, you know, this is kind of our throwback show. You were involved in the Hooters Pro Cup days. Tell I, us about that. I was uh, very involved. They put together a TV package and it was all live to tape. And I went to a lot of the Hooters Cup races, not every one of them, but a great many of them all over the Southeast. And I was usually the only pit reporter there. And I worked with a guy named Richard Campbell. He was our videographer. Richard saved me more times than I want to give him credit for because he really understood race cars and had raced a little bit. So when I would be looking at him, Richard would be talking to me in my headset and go, it's the carburetor, it's this, and, you know, and he was, he was a great coach and also 
did a great job of shooting. But it was a lot of fun because you knew what it was all about. It was people trying to build their careers. And it was fun over time watching it start. And the crowds were kind of thin. But then a couple of years later, people really developed an affinity for the Hooters Pro Cup Tour. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, they really, they're at the end. They had a really good following. I mean, everybody, I feel like, was like, oh, the Hooters Pro Cup. Did you go? Have you seen this? It was so good that NASCAR noticed it. Yeah. Okay. That I mean, that's the honest truth that they, at that time, NASCAR wasn't quite as encompassing as they are now. And they were noticing the fact that the Hooters Pro Cup Tour, when they would come to places, was drawing crowds. And they were drawing crowds at tracks where NASCAR also raced. Myrtle Beach was a good example. We would go down there and the place would be packed. Of course, when I was doing it, it seemed like every fourth week we were in Lakeland, Florida, at the Lakeland Speedway, Mm -hmm. which was purpose-built by Brooks and his group for running the, the Hooters Cup Late Models Tour. But it was very popular. Uh, we got a lot of feedback off of what we were doing, and it was a, it was a real joy. And I would be doing the things that I was doing for PRN, and then cross over and go on those those weekends when I was open to go do those races. And there was there were always NASCAR people there. There were always folks from other racing disciplines checking out what was going on. Yeah, and so I did not stumble into this sport until 2015. And, and even then, it took me quite a few years to kind of, you know, learn all the different series. And so the Hooters Pro Cup days are just something I hear people talk about. I didn't consume any of that myself, but people just talk about how awesome it was. What do you see in the current Cars Tour? Similarities, differences? Is it comparable? I think the cars tour as it is now is like Hooters Pro Cup on steroids. Wow. I mean, I I really do. I think they have the advantage of having celebrity ownership. You've got these people that have bought in that bring a lot of name recognition. Anytime you tie Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s name or Kevin Harvick's name to something, it's automatically got credibility. So they they have that over what it is. But it's also, it's still, it's not entry level. But it's not it's not trucks Xfinity Cup right. level racing, and it's where guys that are making their way on these short tracks can aspire to get to. So that's a good comparison. But the notoriety that the Cars Tours get, and already the media attention they get, is I I think already greater than whatever the, the Hooters Pro Cup Tour had. And there were occasional people that would drop in. Uh, Matt Kenseth would come and run an event every now and then. Joey Logano kind of started over there. Uh, Stephen Wallace showed up. I think we might have been at Myrtle Beach or Lakeland. I'm not sure where. And he rolls in there, Rusty's kid, with the big hauler and a backup car. And he might have lasted three laps. <laughs> you know, it was. It. it, it he, he found that because these guys were good. Yeah, they were uh, racers. It, 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 Benny Gordon was good. Bobby Gill was a really good race car driver. The guy that I think I got the closest to that I probably interviewed the most was Mario Goslin. You know, with DGM now. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, he's built himself a nice little niche over in the Xfinity Series now. But uh, guy could drive a race car. He won, I think, the first championship that they ever had for that division. And I got to know Mario a lot because when guys win, you get to know them. Right. You know, so, and and he was always friendly and would take time to explain things. And it's been kind of neat seeing his career progress on. And now he's an owner and he's had a little bit of success. You know, he's got Josh Williams. He's got... You know, Mr. Park at driving for <laughs> Everybody yes. likes Josh Williams. Yeah, yeah everybody crowd loves favorite. him. Yeah. Well, Doug, thank you for joining us and giving us a little bit of insight on what it was like in the Hooters Pro Cup days. And, and you know, it sounds like I hear all these great things about the series, and but, but it sounds it, like we're it, in the it, middle of it. It was the real deal. Yeah. It was a real grassroots deal. And there were people that showed up that had, just like everything else, that had budgets and had money and backup cars. And there were guys that literally brought their cars in, almost towing behind their own pickup trucks. Yeah. But it was a lot of fun at the time. And I'm and I'm really glad I had the opportunity to be a part of it. For sure. And, you know, in a lot of those things we talked about, it sounds like not not much has changed in terms of the the uh, the atmosphere yeah. and the talent and, and all that stuff. So stay tuned. When we come back, we are going to talk more about this weekend's Throwback 225 at Hickory and how you can join.
What creates a winning combination? Quality, focus, discipline, and most importantly, speed. At Pepperjack Kennels, we provide exceptional water and land training services for hardworking retrievers, from leading in the field to leading on the track. Together, we establish winning dogs and a winning team. Devoted to retrievers and motorsports, we are Pepper Jack Kennels. Visit us online to learn more. Welcome to RaceFace Digital Collectible Cards. Are you a driver or a team looking to expand your brand? Want to connect with your fans, give sponsors more exposure, and earn income from all card sales? Then RaceFace Digital has you covered. Digitize your brand with five different collectible cards. Enrollment is now open to all drivers and all series. Visit racefacedigital.com today and use invite code RA1. Racing, in my opinion, is as healthy as it's been in the last 15 to 20 years. Just wanted to make that first lap. Go! Go! <laughs> Sparks will fly and smoke will roll at Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway as America's favorite short track roars back to life Saturday, July 29th with the return of high-speed, non-wing open-wheel sprint cars for the first time in almost 20 years. The ProDoor Manufacturing 40 joining the 500 Sprint Car Tour will be the Jake Seary All-Stars Tour presented by Chevrolet Performance. Plus, all six local quarter-mile divisions. Get your tickets for the return of high-octane racing action at Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway.Racing. Thanks for joining us tonight on Cars Tour Weekly presented by RNS Race Cars. And remember, RNS Race Cars are your one stop shop for late model stock chassis, body hanging, turnkey purchases, parts, and baseline setups. Now for the races, just 125 laps for the late model stocks mm -hmm. and 100 laps for the pro late models. Yeah. JD, that does not give these drivers a ton of time. No, your qualifying position is going to be very important. You only have so many laps. Hickory's not a huge place. You need to qualify good. You need to get to the front fast. Don't wear out your stuff, but you need to make the right moves. Well said. Are you, can we hire you for driver coaching? I'm not, yeah. Okay. Well, JD, thanks for being with us again today. And we also want to thank uh, Clay Rogers and Doug Rice for joining us in the studio. That was so much so fun. fun. And remember for replays and more, go to racingamerica.tv and be sure to check out our Racing America 24 7 channel available on connected devices. Uh, don't forget racingamerica.com and all of our social channels for any breaking news from the NASCAR Cup Series, the Cars Tour, and more. And stay with Racing America next for Dirty Air with Rodney Rodriguez. We'll be back next week to get you caught up on all the excitement from Hickory. So for J.D. Boucher, I'm Jess Ballard saying thanks for joining us. And we'll see you next week on Cars Tour Weekly. Super Late Models return to Crisp Motorsports Park Saturday, August 19th for the Georgia Summer Nationals. Come see the best Super Late Models in the country. Rates for $10,000 to win as part of the ASA Southern Super Series. Plus racing in local divisions. It's the Georgia Summer Nationals Saturday, August 19th at Crisp Motorsports Park in Cordell. For more information, go to southernsuperseries.com. Catch it only on Racing America. Welcome to RaceFace Digital Collectible Cards. Are you a driver or a team looking to expand your brand? Want to connect with your fans, give sponsors more exposure, and earn income from all card sales? Then RaceFace Digital has you covered. Digitize your brand with five different collectible cards. Enrollment is now open to all drivers and all series. Visit racefacedigital.com today and use invite code RA1. What creates a winning combination? Quality, focus, discipline, and most importantly, speed. At Pepper Jack Kennels, we provide exceptional water and land training services for hardworking retrievers, from leading in the field to leading on the track. 
Together, we establish winning dogs and a winning team. Devoted to retrievers and motorsports, we are Pepper Jack Kennels. Visit us online to learn more. Ready to take your brand to the next level? At Victory Lane Design, we can help. If you are looking for a professional website, cutting edge logo, a hero card that separates you from the pack, or video production to keep you connected with your fans, then check out VictoryLaneDesign.com, where winning counts.